Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I missed out on my June favourites and it's July. I just, do you know what, I just didn't feel like I had anything and I'm not going to push out a video if I don't have stuff that I really, really love. So I've collected all of my favourite bits up at the moment and now I really feel like I'm ready to hit you with my July favourites. As usual, there's a mix of everything. There's a bit of fashion, body care, there's hair care and there's makeup as well. So there really is something for everyone. But obviously I've got a lot to get through. So before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for two videos a week and let's go. First up I've got the wet brush. Now this was sent to me a couple of weeks ago, it's actually quite filthy, I did try and clean out all of the hair as well because that's just gross. But basically this has kind of replaced my tangle teaser. I always used to use my tangle teaser and I liked it but I did sometimes think to myself this does feel like it's still ripping out my hair. But with this one, it doesn't actually feel like it does. It really does feel like these bristles bend just enough to not be ripping through your hair. I just find it a lot softer. It doesn't pull my hair at all. And I just gradually just moved over to it. Instead of picking up my Tangle Teaser, I pick this up. And I guess that says a lot because I'm obviously just gonna go for the one that I like the most and I just keep going for this one. Now I'm not sure whether you are supposed to use it on wet hair like it suggests, the Wet Brush Pro, but I'm very happy just using it on my dry hair. I never really brush my hair when it's wet anyway, I just don't like the sensation. It just all feels very rough and yeah, but I do use this on my dry hair and after I've blow dried it and it's just really nice and soft and my hair seems to really be agreeing with it. So this has definitely been a favorite this month and it's just kind of worked its way into my routine and it's just pushed the tangle teaser out and this is just a firm favourite now. Next up we have the Elemis Skin Nourishing Shower Cream. Now I was a little bit apprehensive about this, I wasn't sure that I believed whether it would be more like hydrating on your skin when you used it, however I, as you can see, used the entire bottle of this and reached for this over all of the other shower gels that I have in my beauty cupboard. For someone that suffers with dry and sensitive skin, this really was such a nice thing to use. You know when you come out of the shower and you feel like your body has been washed and you're nice and clean but it also feels like you've stripped all of the natural oils from your body? Well it doesn't actually feel like that with this and I feel like my skin is left feeling soft and hydrated and not dry and sort of parched after it's been in the shower. So if you suffer with dry skin like I do, this would be a really good option for you instead of using like normal soap and I know that it does generally tend to mean that you have to spend a little bit more when it comes to products like Elemis but it's your skin and if it's dry you really do want to take care of it because you can start getting wrinkles and fine lines and your skin just shows age a lot quicker. So this it says it's actually for dry skin and it has milk proteins, jojoba and oat and it cleanses conditions and softens the skin, which I can definitely say that it does. It's such a lovely product to use. and It just feels a lot more nourishing and gentle on skin like mine. I thought I'd follow on from the last one with another product that I think is really great for dry skin. Now you've probably seen this product in your chemist and you guys will know that I'm not adverse to using sort of medical grade products. Like I use Hibby Scrub on a regular basis to treat any breakouts that I'm having. But this is Cetaphil and this product is pretty much an essential in my beauty cupboard. It's the product that I reach for when my skin is really playing up, when I've got dry patches, when it's sore, anything like that, this is what I reach for. It's basically a soothing and hydrating moisturiser but it's for sensitive or dry skin, it's fragrance free and it's non comedogenic so if you're on Roaccutane or you're having acne treatment this is a really really great product to be using but it's also really good for post Roaccutane because I use this pretty much every single day. I also know that a lot of you girls have spoken about experiencing some dryness when you use the Bondi Sands tanning oil that I use. If you want to watch my tanning routine I will pop a link to that in the description box below but basically this is what I use to combat that. So I apply my tan in the morning and then at night time before I go to bed I slather on a layer of this and it just counteracts the dryness and gets my skin prepped, ready for exfoliating in the morning and reapplying my tan. I think this bottle costs around £5 and it's just one of those products that works. That's the thing that I like, I struggle to get across. I know that we all love those luxurious products and those products that have beautiful packaging and this is one of those products that just works and it's kind of one of those cult beauty products that people don't really talk about but actually is a bit of a holy grail product. So I've actually wanted to tell you guys about this product for a while and finally I'm getting the chance to. <laughs> Next up we've got a product from Orbe and this is the Apra Beach Wave and Shine Spray and I bought this 
um, from Space NK when I was in London last week. And this is actually what I've been using on my hair now that it's straight, but I'm excited to try it out when I do have my waves again. Um, but basically it just gives it a little bit more texture and it's not like using one of those salt sprays which makes my hair just go crispy and disgusting. This just kind of gives your hair a little bit of texture and a little bit of hold so that when you sort of like fluff it up a bit and just move it around so that you've got a bit more body, this is really nice. And I'm just really loving products from Orbe at the moment so I wanted to try a little bit more and yeah, I really really like this one. This is obviously a luxury hair product and it's very expensive but for me, I'm all about products that work and not necessarily just about the price. So if I love a product that's £5 and if I love a product that's £50, I'm still going to tell you guys about it. That's just generally my approach to fashion and beauty. So this was expensive, but I'm really enjoying using it. And I think that it just adds a really nice texture to my hair. So yeah, that's from Space NK. Next up is the Dior Instant Cleansing Water with Pure Lily Extract. And this is the second time that I've purchased this product and it's all gone. Um, this is probably my favourite sort of cleansing water and eye makeup removing water. I guess this is more like a micellar water, but it doesn't say it's... Oh, it is. It's a micellar water. <laughs> yeah, so this is my favourite micellar water. This is the most gentle. It doesn't sting my eyes. And this is the one that I find that really does melt off your eye makeup the best. Like, I don't have to do a lot of rubbing, and I know that people always talk about micellar waters melting off your eye makeup. But I've used a few, and not all of them have, so... This one is one that I really like, but I always know that if I buy a product twice, it means that I do really like it. It is a more luxury skincare brand, but you can generally pick this stuff up from Boots. It's just a really lovely product, and especially if you have sensitive eyes like I have, it's a good one for just melting off your eye makeup at the end of the day and not causing too much irritation. We've got another hair product now, and this one is from L'Oreal Professional, and this is the Techniart Texturizing Dust. Texturizing powder really is my sort of holy grail product when it comes to my hair, because there's a lot of weight in my hair, which means that it can sit flat on the top of my head, whereas dusting a little bit of this in the roots of my hair gives it that lift and gives it that body. I usually use the Schwarzkopf one, but this one is actually so much nicer and a little less sticky as well so if you're wanting to try one out for the first time and you're worried slightly about the texture then this is a really good one for you it's definitely not as sticky and not as heavy as the Schwarzkopf one but still gives your hair that body and that lift and I think that this could be the answer to the people that struggled with the texture of Schwarzkopf then we have another hair care product which is from Show Beauty and that is Tamara Eccleston's brand and it doesn't look like I've used a lot of this, but I have been using this every single day for the past like week and a half. And this is the grooming balm from the Riche collection. And this leaves the ends of my hair so nice and soft. I really wasn't sure how these products were going to be, especially because they're quite expensive, but I absolutely love this. So I'm really excited to try more from the range and to report back on it because this really does make the ends of my hair feel so silky and soft. And it's just really nice. And also the packaging, oh, they have nailed it. It looks so beautiful on your dressing table. It's just lovely. So yeah, I'm really excited to try some more from this brand. And finally in cosmetics and beauty, it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation. And basically this is a bit of a revolution in foundation. And you guys know that I really do put a lot of emphasis on my foundation. That's where I really sort of go all out with my makeup and I really like to have that perfect base but it can be difficult to keep that on the go and especially with handbags getting smaller and smaller so what they've done is they popped the double wear formula into this clever little stick that comes with a little mini sort of beauty blender and the foundation comes out of the top like that and you can just apply there and then so obviously the double wear foundation usually comes in a little like jar which isn't easy to apply on the go well, this makes it 10 times easy and just makes retouching your foundation really easy on the go. Obviously, you've got the confidence of the double wear formula that just stays put and doesn't go anywhere. And it's just in this handy little stick that you can take anywhere. So it's really good for those of you that travel or those of you that spend hours on end in London and end up looking like crap at the end of the day which is me. Then <laughs> quickly onto fashion, I've got a pair of shoes to tell you about. These are the pink suede Gucci high heeled loafers that I got a few weeks ago. And I think everyone, everywhere, on every single social media platform of mine fell in love with these shoes. They got such a good reaction and I was so happy because I was like, oh my god, like, do I like them? Do I love them? Do I hate them? Well, it's love. And they're very, very comfortable on the grand scheme of heels. 
and I have actually worn these for a day in London. I wore them at Wimbledon and they're just a really lovely shoe to have. A very statement, very different, but I just think they are absolutely beautiful. They just look nice with everything, so I'm hoping I'm gonna get a lot more chances to wear these when it's not raining here in the UK as well. So that's my high-end favorite for this month, and my low-end favorite is this top from ASOS. You will have seen this in my ASOS haul that went live last week and I just love it. It's so beautiful. It's just a really nice neckline. The bows are a really nice touch and I feel like the colour is a really nice colour against my skin tone and my eye colour and it's such an affordable top as well which is brilliant. So yeah this is definitely my sort of low end favourite and I also wanted to give a quick mention to my Sean Lean earring that I picked up in Selfridges the other day. I only bought the one because I wanted to wear it contrasted with a sort of freshwater pearl earring that I got from Lynx and I haven't worn earrings in about 10 years is. so it was a little bit weird at first but now I absolutely love the way that it looks and yeah I'm just so happy that I managed to track them down at Selfridges so yeah I just wanted to give that a quick mention as well because I have rambled on so much in this favourites video oh my god <laughs> So that is everything in my July favourites. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I'd love to know what your favourite product is out of everything that I've featured, so do let me know in the comments below. If you did want to pick anything up that I've featured, I've popped links in the description box and whilst you're down there, you'll also find my social media links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat, which again, I always pop on screen for you so that you can come and follow me really, really quickly. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for two videos a week and I will see you in my next one. Bye!